Hey, welcome back, QT50 fanatics. So we're out here testing the HPI ignition system. I had a little stall out there. Have to, I needed to turn up the idle, I think, a little bit. Um, Carl's out here riding with me on his blue Yamaha QT50, uh, the blue streak. And uh, we're on our our favorite course to have fun. And see you later, Carl. Thanks for joining me, bro. It was nice. I enjoyed it while it lasted. So the uh, my setting in my last video, I did not retard the timing. I actually advanced it. And I took it out for a ride, and it was getting way too hot too quick. So I realized my mistake. And I thought I knew something was up when I started it, and I took off down the driveway, and all of a sudden it had more acceleration than it's ever had, and I started to wonder what I had done. So I took it back home, and uh, I think each of those hash marks is probably a degree. So I had advanced the timing two degrees, and so I went back and I moved, I retarded the timing three degrees, so Overall, from my initial setting, I retarded the timing uh, one degree. And here's uh, Carl and I. We have a little pow-wow at the pass here. Seeing that thing. His bike was running kind of hot today. Uh, like we kind of corrected that. We might have to do some more, but his does right around 40, 41, 42 miles an hour. And uh, his compression is, is pretty low, so his acceleration suffers as a result. So we've got to correct that. And I told Carl that he probably doesn't want to ride with me anymore now that, uh, you know, he's joined me on the new improved red QT50 with Jimco exhaust and HPI ignition. So... Uh, Maybe Anyhow, one like of the major benefits of retarding the timing one degree overall okay. was that uh, throughout Shall we do most of this ride, speed? my max temperature was 365 we'll this, degrees, which is Hold amazingly on. cool for a Melosi kit. Uh, towards the end, when I was uh, kind of bumping through the that's neighborhood, the, uh, start and stop, start and stop, I got to 378, that but that's still, uh, you know, car. pretty cool overall. Too. And uh, I've got a, uh, a Nate had asked me about using, did I use a timing light? And I guess the only reason to use a timing light is if, you know, once you've initially set it up, if it's not starting or if it's, or I guess if it's starting but running poorly, you can kind of check the timing with that. I've got a timing gun, however, uh, to date, I haven't used it since I put on this ignition system. Um, I guess I kind of got it set up right from the start, and uh, uh, now I'm just doing fine adjustments. I might knock another degree or two off of timing to retard it more and see what happens, but I'm kind of thinking I'm pretty close to the sweet spot here. You know, now maybe we, we might be talking in half degrees of timing. Um, so we're about, uh, it's funny, when you retard the timing, you've got to, uh, let me think here. I was messing, uh, at a stoplight earlier, I was messing with the idle speed, and I think I turned it down too low and uh, never got it back up to where it should be. But uh, y you'll notice when you retard or advance the timing, you've got to adjust your idle speed. And... Uh, almost immediately because uh, you'll, you'll notice a change there. Plus that uh, rotor kind of has a little kickback and you've got to turn up the idle enough so that it doesn't stall out. So I think what had happened is I had a stoplight it seemed to be idling too high and I turned it down and turned it down and it was fine and then it wasn't. So uh, Carl, I don't know what happened to him but here he comes in a second right about where are you Carl Carl I know you're coming I guess Carl was further behind than I thought I, I don't know what happened to Carl if he stalled out or what how about now there's Carl 
I got to wait on some more cars, but um, one of the advantages of the Jimco Ignage, Ignage exhaust coupled with this ignition system is uh, acceleration is just uh, vastly superior to the stock system. Let's put it that way. When will Carl come into our field of vision? Didn't take too long, did it, folks? Now I'm just, well, I don't, I'm waiting for this car and maybe one more. No, I guess I'm going to go for it now. See you later, Carl. Thanks for playing. There'll be some nice party gifts backstage. Um, so yeah, we're just, we're just cruising here. Uh, I guess a couple things. So, knocking the, uh, retarding the timing back one degree gave me about 0.8 miles an hour, maybe. Uh, or maybe it was due to something else, I don't know. So, you know, maybe the HBI system gets me um, one and a half, two miles an hour top end. Maybe three if we're lucky. Uh, I think, of course, a little of this is hard to separate the Jimco pipe from the HPI ignition, but uh, I think acceleration has improved as a, as a result as well. Uh, so you've got to take that into uh, account. You know, are we strictly top end? or are we all around power? The top end makes up a big part of it. Uh, all around power makes up uh, some of it as well. And then, uh, so improved acceleration, um, slightly improved top, de top end, I guess. And uh, I, I think the biggest advantage of this ignition system is the fact that this thing ran so cool you know, uh, basically a uh, top temperature of 365 with, uh, I guess I'm one degree retarded. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, maybe more, more degrees retarded, and I just don't realize it. And of course, uh, not only that, but you've got the, uh, the timing curve that retards after 4,000 or 4,500 RPM. So you've got the timing curve. Um, I found the other Two, uh, two curve CDI on treats for 85 bucks. You know, maybe I'll give that a try as well. But uh, so uh, the advantage of the H advantage, the pros of the HPI system are, I think, better acceleration, a slightly better top end, um, cooler temperatures once you get it dialed in, and I guess I'm still playing with it. And uh, you get the 12 volt system. The lights are much brighter. Of course, you've got to switch all the lights out to 12 volt. The horn is much louder. Um, so those are the pros. Uh, the cons are obviously the price. Um, the initial setup uh, wasn't that, it went pretty smoothly for me, so I guess that's another pro. It wasn't that bad. If you've got any experience with wiring, and I guess I've worked on enough old bikes where I've had to rewire stuff that uh, wiring this in wasn't that big a deal. Uh, but you know, the cons are basically the price, I guess. And you know, I was hoping to get some more top end out of it. Uh, so I'm trying to think of any other pros and or cons. And you know, I'm kind of thinking, you know, they make this system for several different bikes. Uh, the cheapest one is for the Pook, Tomos, and Derby. Uh, works on all three of those bikes, and it's uh, $225 retail, less on sale. Um, you know, I guess if you wanted to, you know, why wouldn't that work on this? You just have to probably have to fabricate some sort of stator plate and, and put that on but you know I'm just speculating you know why is the QT50 system so expensive uh, I'm not sure maybe it'll come down in price in the future but uh, 
it was a fun project. Definitely learned a lot. And you can kind of take it. I guess I'll update this later. Uh, I'll retard the timing some more. And uh, here, there goes Carl again. Let's catch him. Let's catch him. Carl's doing a little speed run, tuck, you know, down in his tug, trying to get after it. And then I guess I'll give you my final thoughts, I think, on the Jimco pipe. I think the Jimco pipe must have been initially made for the PW50, and then he sold it later for the QT50. And if it was designed for the PW50, then uh, it makes sense because it's basically a low and mid-range pipe. It's not a top-end pipe. I got better speeds. I got 49.9 miles an hour out of the MLM circuit pipe. So it'd be, it, it's kind of tempting, although I'm tired of you know changing things for a little while. It'd be tempting to try the circuit pipe back on this with the HPI system. But before I mess with any of that, I've got other projects. And I think what I'll do is just continue to fiddle with the timing on this and uh, you know, maybe retard it another degree, degree and a half, and, and see what that does. Um, so those are the final thoughts. Thanks to Rob for contacting me and suggesting this and making it all, you know, initiating it all and, and kind of, you know, being the instigator so to speak and uh, thanks to everybody who contributed uh, I've tried to name them off the Kentucky Yankee Benjamin Carl uh, Brent Nate uh, Rob of course uh, Jason oh uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm missing one or two and we've run out of film so I'm gonna wrap it up here thanks again uh, keep on riding, and uh, we're moving on. I'll, I'll update this later, and we'll go on to some more projects.